I absolutely feel it's a, an honour um, to be here, a part of Glastonbury, um, and feel so welcome and meet you know all these amazing people that we have here. Martin, Yay! please tell us now what's going on. After that, one white dots with a record for you all then. Hello, Glastonbury. My name is Frank Moore. I'm an Irish gear traveller. So I came out as a, an Irish gay traveller, um, which obviously didn't go down uh, quite light with the community, but I worked with the community, same as any other community. Our community um, is a community that sort of runs from the olden days. You know, they're still like from, you know, 80 years ago, 90 years ago, they're all very old school. And what um, we have in this community is they don't like change. And when change comes, it needs to be explained and explained in a very, very careful way um, to say like, this is the reasons why he's gay and this is the reasons why he's going to be gay. And obviously, I obviously come away from the community when I was 15, but not shortly long after, I came back into the community, which I was very grateful of, you know what I mean? So at, at the end, they did accept me. Um, but obviously, a lot of people are not aware of um, the suicide level within gypsies and travellers. Um, uh, a lot of the children are committing suicide, feeling like they can't go home and tell their parents, which they can, but they just feel like they're going to be a failure, they're going to be a letdown, and lots of them recently, including 12-year-old children and 16-year-old children, have committed suicide. And I'd like to let you all know the suicide level in the travellers and gypsy community is gay travellers and gay gypsies is actually 70 to 80%. There was a 12-year-old child last week and he was on that. Three months ago, there was another 16 year old who actually felt like he didn't go home and tell his mother and father what he was. It was too late and he ended his life before we did. So I'm that brave soul that's standing here for gypsies and travels to say, we need to embrace who we are. We never deny who we are. We are a proud country. We are an England. And we will always be who we truly are. And we will never, ever, ever deny who we are for anybody. And I would like to say, to the gay community especially, I am very proud of every single one of you. Proud pleasures to gays, to bisexuals, and what you saw, and you saw make me very, very happy. And you saw let me come out of the wardrobe and tell the world who I truly was. Because my community turned their back on me, and you are going to support me. I know that for a fact. We are a coalition of travellers in this group that's been invited to Glastonbury. We've all been invited because we're quite prominent person personalities in our own travelling walks of life. This is a strange sort of bittersweet and mixed occasion for us because we're celebrating our culture and we're welcoming other people to come and share it with us and, and to be in this space with us and that's been wonderful but at the same time we're aware that this is quite a dark moment for us really in a history of, of, of anti-gypsy legislation that stretches back 486 years. Lord, love it was by his stable door, a mountain his mill quiet steed. Lady and his love was by his side, for to bid him his last God speed. Lady and his love was by his side, Far to bid him his last God speed. The new legislation imposed by the UK absolutely stinks. It's not just an attack on the freedom of uh, the travellers to travel about, it's an attack on the basic British principle of having the right to roam. So the legislation is poorly worded, unenforceable, breaches human rights, and is a clear that what's what happened to this politically correct world of equality that we live in how come and even an ethnic minority such as the uh, gypsy roma travelers the sinti the uh, all the different branches of the gypsy roma traveler they are an ethnic minority so why is it that we've allowed a legislation to come about that attacks their very way of life they have been nomadic for 1100 years or more and can trace their history back to the times when we were all hunter-gatherers. So why isn't it okay for the indigenous 
nomadic people to live the life that they've chosen. This act is a direct attack on that. And I feel like I am here in this Achintan community because I'm defending every person's right to roam. I'm English. I'm an Irish traveller. I was born in England. This is my country. You know what I mean? No one can ever say that we should be stripped of our human rights and we can't be who we want to be. Everybody else seems to be who they want to be. And I've always took England as a country, as a free country. You know, you always, you know, embrace who you are, be who you are. You know what I mean? And now they're basically saying to us, we can't be who we are, you know? To criminalise us and come in and take our children away, arrest our mothers, arrest our fathers. That really upsets me. That really upsets me because I never thought a law, such a law would ever come to this country against gypsies and travellers. I just hope we can rectify this problem and make it better for us and everyone else amongst our communities and hopefully keep on being us. If you get a notice to quit at the side of the road, it tells you you must leave by a certain date and time and then all will take you to court. But now it's going to change to you leave at a certain date or time or you'll be under arrest and your vehicles and homes will be, and even animals, will all be impounded. And even as we are sitting here doing this, we've had two different people, including my wife who's in horses and with our horses and wagons on the country lane in Worcestershire while I'm here. The council have been round told us they're giving us a notice to quit that piece of verge on Monday. Somebody else I know has been handed a notice to quit and two people were uh, evicted yesterday morning in horse and carts in Warwickshire given three hours to leave and uh, in the background on a video that got sent us today on a phone as they, you see them leaving the verge with large police trucks in the background in case they didn't leave and towed them off. Since we've been in this country we've been prosecuted, we've been threatened, it's even been made law that we can be hanged for just being what we are. With the new laws coming in, are still trying to compress us to do what we do not want. I'm a free man, I'm a nomadic person. Why, why are they making it such a crime to live freely in this country? We've been here for many, many years. We're not going nowhere. If anyone wants to help nomadic people, gypsy and traveling people at this time, there are various ways you can do that. One, although this legislation has unfortunately already passed, uh, and, is, and is coming into force now, is that you can lobby your MP and try and try and tug on their conscience to make them realise that this is really an unethical and a disgusting piece of legislation that in future I think they're likely to be ashamed of. Uh, and, and I really do believe that. And I think that letters of that kind to politicians do actually have an impact. It will be possible for some people, perhaps even people watching this, to offer up sanctuary to people who are being brutalised by this law. There are discussions happening, for instance, with the Church of England to open up church land, Church of England being a, a, you know, a huge landholder in this country. Even something as simple as commenting on, a, on an article about this sort of thing in support of the gypsy and traveller community, uh, voicing support for our organisations, uh, attending a march if you're able. But really, having this in your heart as something that's important and thereby becoming part of a future movement that doesn't let these kind of laws happen. That means just as much to us really as any physical help in the here and now. We see the dawn.